yo, hey, yo, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, yo. Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Julian Cummings and today I'm giving my thoughts on clear grip tape, best use case, why I use it, you know, what's going on with clear grip tape, should you go get it? So hit that like button right now. I mean right now, right now. Let's go. So right here I got some mob clear grip tape. It's clear, you can see it. It's just the back that is brown and it's perforated. So that means there's holes in the back so the grip tape can breathe. You can get all the air bubbles out. It's nice. I've been saving this grip tape so I can put it on the YouTube bell notification board with all your profile pictures of everybody that subscribed and hit the bell. Love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Most of you know clear grip tape is not really the superior grip tape for skateboarding and a lot of people choose not to use it. They just go for mob grip tape, mob over jess up and just call it a day. I'm sure a lot of you guys here not to use clear grip tape, stay away from clear grip tape and I'm just gonna tell you why people say that in this video and also the best uses for clear grip tape. For starters, I feel like there's less sandpaper on the grip tape itself. And that would kind of make sense because you have to see through it. That's its design purpose, that's its functionality. If you have too much sand on the sheet, right, you're not gonna be able to see through it. And because you have less sand on there, off the bat, you're starting off with less grip. When you use clear grip tape, the color of your board is really just gonna be the stain that you got your board in. So if your board's blue and you put clear grip tape on, your board's gonna be blue. Unless you like make a collage and you cut out images. I got a Lamborghini right here. I got a Shiba businessman. You cut those out and you can start placing them on your board and make some kind of creation. And that's where I think the best use case of clear grip tape is. And that's what I did with these profile pictures. Cut them out and I made some kind of design so that when I put the clear grip tape over it, it'll have a design under it and it won't just be a red stained skateboard. You can use half regular grip and half clear grip. It's whatever you want. I'm gonna use clear grip tape for the whole thing. The hardest part. Cool, now we're gonna cut it out. I got an independent truck right here. Just gonna outline it the same way you would for a regular grip. I guess if you're not trying to be creative with clear grip tape, you should stay away from it just because it's not the best out there on the market. One thing you gotta watch out for, because the grip tape is not actually on the stain part of the wood, it's on the graphics and stuff. If the grip tape lifts up, it'll just fall off with the paper. You know, the glue isn't gonna do anything. It'll just come up off with the paper. And so you have a lot of disappointed customers buying clear grip tape, thinking it'd be like the same, but it's not. If you wanna use clear grip tape, be artsy and creative, you're welcome to do so. You can go do that. But if you wanna skate street, I'd recommend just getting regular mob black grip tape. You'll see the difference. If you try and skate street, with clear grip tape, you'll be very disappointed. But when your board lands upside down and the concrete or just regular black pavement eats up your board and you pick it back up, you're gonna turn the board over and half your sheet of grip tape is just gone, straight up. Like you can't even film anymore because it doesn't look good. It's too distracting. Positive thing is you don't need to use the scrap to like sand down the board. It already has less grip, so you don't even need to do that. This is what it looks like right now. You can see all the profile pictures coming through the grip tape. And the ones you can't see are just the profile picture was already blurry from the start. You can take a truck with a wheel and then just use it as a roller to get the air bubbles out so you can see more of the grip. You see how you see the air bubbles right here? Yep. 